there are so many different options for choose from for what composes our reality. We have the two main op options for Western philosophy include materialism, in that our world is composed of physical substances which we perceive through our various senses, and idealism, concerning that everything is merely thought, the product of our conceptions. Also available are the Eastern epistemology, Eastern metaphysical view of everything being intercon and, inter and interconnected whole, uh, and religious and additional religious metaphysics. My personal belief is pragmatism, which, in and of itself, is not necessarily a metaphysical view, but a method of resolving metaphysical debate. William James was one of the first philosophers to espouse pragmatism in the mid to late 1800s, and although pragmatism did not become popular amongst, amongst the philosophical community until 1898. Pragmatists uh, believed in an empirical world, that it was composed of solid matter which we could perceive through our senses, but they were not satisfied with the materialist views on how other things proceeded. Materialists were concerned with how things looked, smelled, tasted, but that was not enough for the pragmatists. They wanted to understand the connections and meaning behind everything, anything and everything. The, the pragmatist method, method um, is quite summed up by a quote from William James. If no, practical if, if no practical difference, whatever, can be found between two options, then there is no sense. There is no difference between the two options. They might as well not exist. Take the popular example of a leaf falling from a tree. We have the option that, it ev that its every movement is determined, when it will fall off, what it does when it falls, and where it lands. But consider for a moment, what if the leaf had the choice of when it would fall, and where it would fall, or even how it would fall? Well, pragmatism takes us through the motions in that it doesn't matter. Either way, it's going to land on the ground and be stepped on by us at some point. It doesn't matter if the leaf is placed there by gravity or chose to go there itself. So we're kind of left with the Schrodinger's cat example, where maybe it's dead, maybe it's not. We don't know, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Another example is Professor Creed's socks. <laughs> he always rolls up his pants to show off that his socks are two very different, vibrant colors or patterns. But to him, it makes no difference. To everyone viewing him, we look at him and think he's crazy. He must have two different socks on. But they're the same material, the same cut. They feel the same when he wears them, so what is the difference? There is none. One of the consequences of thinking about metaphysics is our free will as thinking beings. Determinism says that we could not possibly have free will. Everything is set by the past, which determines the present, which will then determine the future. There is therefore no possibility of change from the way things are now. Everything was set and is set. Whereas if we have the freedom of choice, there's endless opportunities for everything in the world to change because we can choose to go out and change it. Pragmatism brings up the point that these are not necessarily in conflict. They could, again, like Schrodinger's cat, it does not matter. We could be determined. We could have complete freedom of choice for where we went with our life. And yet, either way, we're going to go on living our life, even if we were set in stone, or free to choose everything we wanted, but believed we were set in stone. The main competition for West, amongst Western views are the ideas of materialism and idealism. 
pragmatism large, is largely supported and supporting by materialism, and well, they are mostly in unity, but materialism has faults at the subatomic level. With the quantum slit experiment, we note that molecules can behave differently when observed as when not. So, if you're materialist, there are problems with your views. Pragmatists can ignore this as it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect how they live, because we live on the macroscopic scale, and the quantum level doesn't necessarily affect us so very much. Idealist views concerning that our entire reality is subject to the whims of our minds kind of falls apart with one repeatable test. And that's if idealism states that what we conceive is how reality is. Why can't I conceive a pancake in front of me? Why can't I place myself instantaneously in my house? Well, if we just continually repeat this, it doesn't happen. So I have found no lasting value in idealist views and centered upon pragmatism. While perhaps you may not have changed your mind, I hope you certainly have learned something from my presentation.